Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert's Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right. From the independent scene to the main event at WrestleMania, we covered it all right here on Robert's Sports Show. So, as we continue with finishing up the collective, again, we have one show left to watch. Joe Janela's um, Clusterfuck. That's it. We have, I think, five reviews getting ready to go up. And then we have Monday Night Raw tonight, which starts in about a half hour. We'll get that up and then get some best ofs and stuff. But, you know what? It's been a great weekend. 19 shows. Four days. Five days counting today. Lots of wrestling. Lots of reviews. Lots of fun. Here we go. Toshi Joe's Pro Wrestling live in Philly. TJPW. All right. Warning. I am not good with these names. We have also GCW versus Toshi Josh Pro Wrestling. Again, not good with these names. Rednecks don't do Japanese names very well. We'll do the best we can. Okay, Yukiano and Zara Sakura versus Arisa Indo and Sumi. Daisy Montel is the name of the tag team, I believe. Good match. All of these. Japanese TJPW women wrestlers are good. We have a few Americans in here, a few um, ones that I'm used to watching and following as well. They just put on just good matches, you know. We have, you know, some Japanese wrestlers in WWE. You know, the um, Asuka's, the uh, Io Sky's, the Kairi Zane's, the, you know, uh, Julia who showed up in NXT. Those women just, they just know how to wrestle. And that's what's cool about them coming into the American, introducing to the American style from the Japanese style. It just makes these women matches just that much better compared to some of the American style stuff. Um, so I ended up giving that match three and a quarter with um, Aza Endo and Suzumi getting the victory. Next up we had Billy Starks versus Hyper Mazeo. Uh, Billy Starks. Ended up hitting two Swan Tom bombs on Hyper Mozo. Hyper Mozo took her helmet and used it as a weapon a couple times. And then we had Athena on the outside. We had uh, Hyper Mozo actually go after Athena at one point. And then Billy Starks was able to get the pinfall victory. I ended up giving this three and a quarter as well. Pretty good match. Um, definitely would like to see it without the kind of secondary stuff with Athena. Uh, next up we had Viv Viva Van teaming up with Yoki Zumfoku taking on Raka and Trisha Dora. Um, great tag team match. Four women who know how to go out and wrestle. Trisha Dora and Viva Van I've seen around. Trisha Dora part of Ring of Honor. Uh, Viv Viva Van part of the Fire Wrestling I do believe. Um, I give this match three and a quarter as well with Viva Van and Yaki Kimfuka getting the victory. Next up we had Misku and Vert Vixen teaming up against Aja Kong and Palm Haroku. Um, again, four women who know how to go out and wrestle. Aja Kong, big, powerful, against the kind of, high, I don't say high flying, but the kind of more jumpy kind of jumpy is a wrong stupid word but you know you know what I mean Bert Vixen just a talented wrestler who can go out there and just pure wrestle with the power of Ozzy Kong uh, Misku and Ver, uh, Vixen getting the victory there I give it three and a half um, it was actually the third best match of the card tied, or tied for second um, the next match which was match of the card Shota Nakamura versus Rio. Rio currently the Progress Wrestling Women's Champion. Um, she lost here, but this was a awesome match. I give it three and three quarter star. Nakamura, she actually did a dive to the outside that was just like amazing. Um, both these women, just amazing wrestlers. And then the main event was a tag team match. Maki Ito, Mia Yamashita. Taking on Mu Watabe and Rika Tamsui. Um, again, an amazing match. Maki Ito didn't break her pizza cutter out. Uh, Mia Yamashita and Maki Ito getting the pinfall victory. I ended up giving this match three and three quarters as well. 
Um, so two really, really good matches to end this card. Other matches solid. Definitely worth the watch if you like watching women's wrestling. I like watching good wrestling. This was good wrestling. Dave Prezak and Veda Scott on the call from The Collective. I believe this was the first show on Friday. Um, yeah, Friday was the fifth. So yeah, this was the first show on Friday. Um, so I was just able to watch it today and get it reviewed here. But that is TJPW live in Philly. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. Don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader, Sports Channel content.